Okay, so a week ago, um, I decided to go for a little um, photography mission, a little Instagram mission, because I wanted to take some new photographs, and I just felt in a creative mood, and felt like a, I would uh, explore a bit of the local countryside, so I took off to a little village called Cavendish. So I worked out a little route plan for about, I think it was, um, I think I thought it was about six kilometres. It's quite short. You could do it in an hour and a half, according to the thing, according to the app. But it took a bit longer than that. It turned out to be a lot longer distance-wise. But you know, the idea was to do go through nice countryside, take some photographs, and uh, do some nice Instagrams. If you're like me and you don't like using maps, I hate carrying maps around. I'm not. I've got a terrible sense of direction. I find this great um, site called View Ranger, and actually you download the app on your on your phone, but it means you can set up routes on using the View Ranger uh, website, and you can create routes and then download them onto your phone. So this is what the map looks like whenever you've created your map. So what you do is you join up all the little uh, waypoints on the on a map. It shows you where all the public footpaths are. So you draw out your route that you're going to take, and it looks like that when it's finished. And you can obviously save that, and it gives you the the length. Um, if there's any height involved, any hills, it shows you the al uh, the altitude. You can also change the map to the traditional ordnance survey, so that you can have a, a, a another look as well. And you can see that the the route follows a public footpath. It's the Star Valley Path, actually. And you can see, so it it's very much on the on um, follows a proper route. It's not like you're walking through the middle of a field. And uh, it means that when you, whenever you download that onto your phone, that you can see exactly where you are. Um, and this is actually the recording. So whenever, you, whenever you've done your walk, you, when you push the start button, it actually records the route. So you can see I started at about 9.20. And you can follow the path of the route and see where I was at any time. I got to Clare at about 10.35, distance of 4.72 kilometres. It's very clever. And then I got back at about 12.32 um, with 11.5 kilometres there it, it clocked. It's very, very clever. Or you can use the slidey bar and it does the same thing. It just tells you where you were at a given time. And Or there's a graphic at the bottom which is um, shows you the speed, distance and altitude of your walk. So there's the view ranger app and then it comes up with your routes and it means that uh, you can take your phone with you um, and use that as a map rather than have a whole big map with you and it was so useful I absolutely love this I can't recommend it enough So here we are in the beautiful Suffolk countryside. Absolutely gorgeous, so peaceful. And although it's a summer's day, it's sort of uh, the sun is will come out later. It's sort of high cloud, but very pleasant. It's nice and cool. But it is 9:40 in the morning. And I've just started a walk in Cavendish and I'm on my way to Clare and it just is very peaceful. It's interesting how the path varies. You go from wheat and then it changes into go into the next field and it changes to another vegetation. No idea what that is. I'm not a gardener but it's these big open 
Suffolk skies that are just amazing on a day like today. It's just beautiful. Just beautiful. It's just very, very relaxing. <laughs> just notice these pod things. So it looks like it's some sort of bean. It looks like a bean. A broad bean of some sort. So here we are, we just come through a gap in the hedge there from a wheat field. And now we're coming closer into the village of Clare. This is just there. So that sort of marks the halfway mark of the walk. And the sun's come out, it's a bit windy, but that's quite pleasant. It's quite a pleasant wind. Um, and it's not too hot either, actually. It's quite pleasant in the sun. This lovely wooded area now. This makes a nice contrast to the open fields. It's beautiful. A little bit of welcome shade from the sun as well. Although as I say there's a nice breeze blowing so it's quite pleasant. But yeah this is really nice. I like a, a walk of contrast, otherwise it can get a bit boring if you're just walking through fields. But this is, this is quite nice. I like this. Always a bit worrying when you see that sign. No sign of anything. Look at that, it's not gorgeous. That looks like the bulls away up there. And guess what way the path goes. Oh no, I'm not wearing anything red. So I should be okay, I can do this. I got right of the field with the bull in it. Okay, this is a very important border. It doesn't look like much, but this is the River Star. And this marks the border between Suffolk and Essex. So I'm just leaving Suffolk. Look at that water, isn't it gorgeous? I'm just leaving Suffolk and I'm heading into Essex, which is where I'm crossing into this field. countryside's definitely much more beautiful on this side of the boundary. Yeah, much nicer. So we're just coming up the other side of Clare. We just walked along there, which basically 
uh, runs parallel to the river and the main roads. You can sort of hear the traffic. Just come up this track and we're just about to head out more into the countryside and head back to Cavendish. I've just walked up a tiny, tiny little hill and I'm out of breath. God, I'm so unfit. Um, but I think there's, a, there's not exactly much in the way of mountains in this walk. There's a few undulating hills and that's about it. And it looks like we're sort of at the top of one at the moment, just heading back down into a little valley. That's very pretty. So we're back into a, a wooded area again, which is very pretty. Makes a nice contrast. I always like a walk with contrast, I said earlier. The only thing I'm aware of on this part of the journey is I know there's a main road not far from here and you can hear the traffic in the distance, which is um, a bit more obvious whereas coming towards here you couldn't hear any traffic at all which was lovely this looks like an old bridle path another field another crop I have no idea what this is but it's certainly growing in abundance in this field and then the one beside it as well it's growing in there and the cloud has come in again so just ahead you can see the village of Cavendish which is where I started the, the walk beautiful old church. You're afraid of saying anything because it's so quiet in here. You're afraid of speaking. But it's obviously um, it's obviously very old. Um, it looks like the church has stood on this ground since 1300. So that's, that's before my time. Let's put it like that. Look at this old door. That is so old. The character of it is amazing. It's been here for probably since the beginning of the church. Crazy. <laughs> 